Hi, this is Anke Chuhi, and I'm looking at this uh, fruit orchard. We had planted these uh, limes and lemons and oranges, and unfortunately in the last year or so, these trees started getting what you'd call the citrus tristeza virus. I'm just going to go slowly so that I show you. What it does is it causes the tree branches to start drying out. It will start like one branch and then of course it spreads the rest of the tree. So you can see the branches that are already dry and the homeowner here had cut, has cut down these ones because unfortunately this beautiful, beautiful orchard had, you know, lovely lovely limes lemons and all the others but you're also noticing of course it has sooty mold and scale insects that's the black stuff you're seeing that's not what is killing the tree the tree is actually being killed by the citrus tristeza virus so we just cut out these branches this is a disease that um, it's very difficult to control i want to show you these are the trees that are already getting it it started with one with the key lines and then it went to the rest of the orchard which is down there where you're seeing and all of them are starting to get I took the branches to be analyzed at the university lab and of course the result came back it's the citrus tristeza virus when you have a virus it's very difficult to control it you can see the branches now have you know they are starting to dry out it just starts with one branch like you can see here and then of course it spreads to the rest of the branches there were already two trees which started and of course the homeowner just cut them down and you can see if you look through these ones there are some that are just drying and in fact as we go down there you will notice all those other trees will go closer there you get to see it they all have it they have the beginnings of it so what do you do one way is to uh, of course, if you have trees that you're worried are going to get it, if the other trees in the orchard don't have the symptoms or the, it has to be analyzed at the lab, then you can cut down the tree that has the disease. But because almost all the trees here are infected, the best way to do it is just go ahead and just cut down the branches that are dry. It's sort of delaying the process. You continue to have your fruits. They may not look as, you know, as healthy as probably when the tree is um, doing well, but you can continue to harvest the fruits, you know, like these ones are such beautiful looking limes. And of course the lemons, if you can see down there, but you continue to eat the fruits until when the tree can't, you know, like you keep on cutting it down. That's what he's doing now. He's cutting down all the branches that are dry like that. You just continue cutting down the branches until when you have nothing more to cut, <laughs> then you cut down the tree. Uh, but it will give you probably a year or two when you can continue to have your fruits. And then, of course, um, hopefully there are no other trees around that it can infect. But the citrus tristeza virus, I'll talk a little bit more about it in the session below. It's one of those terrible diseases that you never hope that it comes into your trees. And, of course, viruses are harder to control. You know, if it's a bacterial disease or if it is, a, you know, a fungus, those are much easier to control. But bacterial diseases, you just have to sort of cut down the tree if you have to. So in this case, that's what you're going to be doing today, just cutting down the dried branches. And just, you know, the, the lemons and limes look beautiful. You know, you just continue to harvest them until you can't harvest anymore. This is Anne Gachohi. Click on the link below. I'm going to be giving you some information on this uh, uh, disease. And thank you so much. Bye.